everybody, JB here today. Welcome to the show. I hope you're having a great Friday. Uh, I know I am. Thanks for checking in on Tech Thursday. That was a lot of fun. We're going to change up that date, so make sure you check the community. We're going to try a couple times to see when we can get everybody together uh, to talk about wonderful tech. If you're new here, welcome. This is a place where we talk about kind of tech, a lot of ink, a lot of fun stuff uh, almost every single day. And it's all about the energy. It's a community here, not a channel. And we're having a lot of fun. I want to welcome you from Paris today. Just kidding. I, I've actually got the green screen working today, uh, learning some new technology and having some fun as we always do. Uh, and it, what, we got to have fun with the green screen once in a while. It's fr a fun Friday, right? Well, anyways, today we want to get into the topic. And the topic is about the paper tablet, um, the Quirk Logic paper tablet. We've been talking a lot about this lately. I've been using it more and more as a daily note taker. And one of the questions that I've been getting a lot is about the canvas. So I want to talk about the canvas. A lot of people are asking, does it come in landscape? Does it have dual screen? No, it doesn't. And that's one of the reasons I've used the Quaderno a little bit more uh, than this, but I'm starting to use this more and more. And I think they're going to have dual screen soon, but I can't speak for Quirk Logic. But let's go into it. What is an unlimited canvas, right? So if I go ahead and close this down, you're going to see it. Um, Basically, these were my CoachCast notes today. You can see that this canvas just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, all right? So you have all this room to work in. Now, if you remember, this was my A4 sheet of paper right here, okay? So as you can see, as an artist or somebody that wants a big canvas, this thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, you can barely see stuff right now, it's so big. I mean, it is just amazing. And then you just double tap and you come back. Now that's a regular sheet of paper. So let's say you're reading something and you wanna make some notes. You can just close it down and you can put some notes here on the side. Uh, this is an area. Okay? So, and then the cool thing is you can just circle around it to erase it, but let's just put notes. Okay, so now you have got a big unlimited canvas. So no, it doesn't do landscaping, but it has this gigantic canvas um, that you can use. Now, I will tell you, I've got a lot of questions and then you just double tap and brings it back, which is really cool. On the PDF, what happens when you print that large canvas? Well, let's look at that. Right now, and I'm, I've got to get with them to learn more about this, but I just printed this canvas, as you can kind of see here. Let's go ahead and make it really big. And you can kind of see there is the test area, right? So if you look, I printed it. We're going paperless, I'm not, but, but I know some people want to print. This is the way it was. It was kind of like a print screen. So I'm not sure if you want to print this out exactly how to do this. And we need to get with Quirk Logic a little bit to talk about that on how do we convert that huge canvas to the PDF because people have been asking me that. But you can print it, right? It comes out like this, um, just so you can see it. And that's, then you can print that out. And this is basically coming from their uh, Quirk Logic software that I really like. Um, that's that's kind of how it works. But people have been asking me, you know, how do you erase? Well, you just press this button and circle around things and you can erase things on the, uh, on the paper. But I really just wanted to go over this idea of the unlimited canvas, because I think that's something this device does that a lot of other devices don't do. And if you need a little more space, you know, you just pinch and you can come in here. And let's say I wanted to do eight. I'm going to turn this a little bit, eight, and just put uh, big life, put something in here. I can keep going and going and going. And let's say I wanted to mind map something here. Now, again, a lot of people complain because the artists would love this, especially if I change the back. Let me just go ahead and change the back to plain. Let's get rid of the lines. Now you've got this huge canvas, which is just really cool, right? So let's go ahead and erase some of these scribbles that I put out here. Let's erase the mind map. Let's erase this. And now all of a sudden you've just got, look at how small that piece of paper is right here in your, in your document. It's pretty crazy. And the other thing I can do just to show you is I can undo that by doing that. But again, if I just double tap on the device, oop, I was getting good at that. There it goes. It goes ahead and brings it back to regular A4 size, which now I have my document. 
and I took the background off. Now, I've, I've t always told you that you can change the background by clicking the contextual uh, menu here and then just clicking your file that you want to bring in and bring in whatever you want. We're going to apply this to the current page and now I've got squares on there and as I go ahead and make that bigger, I've got a huge map. So for some of you uh, that used to play Dungeons and Dragons, I'm really dating myself, you could like draw your map in here, you know? And that's kind of cool. And now you can have like the dungeon, right? So if I draw my dungeon map, I could spend hours on this. I used to do this in elementary school and I used to just draw out my maps for Dungeons and Dragons. So that's pretty cool. And then we'll just go back, double tap, we're back to normal. Let's say we didn't want that squared background. I'm gonna go ahead and click this and go ahead and click the empty. So I've been using this more and more. Yes, it's version 1.0 software, but I'm really impressed um, with it. I really am. I'm using it more and more. I'm starting to use it more in my daily processes so I can do more videos for you. Um, but we're gonna keep bringing you some ideas. I am hearing that they have one uh, version 1.9. The software upgrade's coming real soon. So I'm really anxious to see if they bring dual screen and stuff. But overall, cool device. And I wanted to show you, because I got a lot of questions, what does it mean an unlimited canvas? Well, that just means it can get bigger and bigger and bigger, which is pretty cool. And you can keep working on that. The printing I got to learn a little bit more about. I'm going to keep learning. Uh, and if you have any questions, please leave them below. I know Quick Logic watches a lot of these, uh, and their tech team and their marketing team actually watch a lot of these videos and report back. So it's good to be in conversation with them. But as always, thank you. You know, we're growing this channel. I hope you're getting some good content. We're having fun. I mean, that's what it's about. I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna keep bringing you energy and creeping you ideas. I've got a ton of devices coming in over the next couple of weeks, so get ready. Remarkable 2, uh, a Live Scribe pin, some Onyx products, uh, a Kobo. I mean, I got tons of stuff coming in. We're gonna be reviewing, talking about them, communicating, having chats, just having fun. And as always, thank you so much for hitting that like button, that subscribe button, that alert bell. It helps this channel and you're helping me, and I appreciate that. So go have a great day. We'll see you in the next video, probably tomorrow, right here on the Morning Coach channel.